Well, it is, <clears throat> as always, good to welcome you, whether you're uh, watching live here at um, almost nine o'clock on Tuesday morning, or whether you're watching later on. Um, really good to have you with me um, for morning prayer on Tuesday, the 21st of June. As you can see, um, light shining in, yet another sunny day. Um, so um, that's good, unless you're a gardener, I guess, um, and you want some rain. However, um, we're not remembering anything especially today. Um, there's nothing in the general church lectionary, but we are across the diocese asked to pray for um, the police services, um, courts and probation um, officers um, across the county. So we'll be pleased to do that. Um, not, oh, not least, of course, because um, we're conscious that the, the verdict is due today um, following the um, tragedy in Dragon Rise in November. So um, we'll, uh, we'll include that very much in our prayers too. As always, you can follow the, um, the words on the Daily Prayer app or in the link, um, which hopefully you can find in this post. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of the sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hearts to do your will. The world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Turn to the Old Testament, which uh, we have Psalm 32 today. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue. My bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I did not hide. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood, it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Turning to the New Testament, Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, what should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. 
I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all of my grain and my goods. I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. All the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. With those words of Jesus in our minds, let's turn to our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the teaching of Jesus. That reminder, that powerful and challenging reminder today, not to store up riches here on earth, but to be rich towards you, to be generous in our love towards you and towards other people, to remember that all that we have we're merely custodians of, we're not uh, they're not actually ours. All things come from you and of your own do we give you. So, Lord, help us to be wise and responsible stewards of everything that we have, our material possessions, and to be generous towards those around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we look around the world, so we recognise a fallen and broken world. We're part of that brokenness, of course. So, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness for the ways in which we have wounded your love and hurt those around us. For the ways in which we haven't been the creations that you want us to be. Lord, we pray that through your Holy Spirit, you will open our eyes and hearts to change our ways and follow you more faithfully. Lord, we do pray especially today for police service, for courts and for probation services. Lord, we recognise the valuable work that they do often in challenging situations we thank you for our pcso's here lindsay and alex we thank you for the valuable work that they do making relationships with so many people and lord we do pray especially today for the courts in at bristol as we prepare for the verdict following November's tragedy. Lord, we pray simply that your will be done and we ask that you would give strength and grace and peace to our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for our church. Thank you for the meeting with our church wardens last night. And I do thank you for the work that our wardens do, Alex, uh, uh, Alec and uh, Duncan and Pete and Andrew, and the immense contribution that they make to the life of our benefice. Lord, I pray that you would continue to equip and enable them in that work. And Lord, we do pray for our churches going forward in our benefice, at least for our vision group and 
the vision that we have to grow in many ways. We thank you for the work that's already happening for our house groups, for our new worship um, beginning to take place on Sunday evenings once a month. for new initiatives taking place. Lord, we do pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to watch over us and help us to grow. We know that we can still do better and do more. And Lord, we ask for your wisdom in seeking that process. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for our schools, both of our schools with very strong Christian ethos, both church schools. Lord, we do thank you for those communities, for all who make a contribution to that link. Thank you for the head teachers, Paul and Kelly. Praying too for uh, Jenny and for Anna and all the work that they do in promoting the Christian ethos. And for the ethos committees themselves, Iona and Sandy and uh, Rosemary and John and others. Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless our work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do hold before you those people we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. Those struggling with physical ailments or mental health challenges. Or those just struggling with life. We do pray for uh, Derek and for Janet. And we hold before you too those who find themselves in grief at the moment, mourning the loss of a loved one, the friends and families of Elizabeth Spreadbury, of James Garlick, of Stuart Allbutt, and of Jenny Edmonds. Lord, we pray simply that you would watch over them, draw alongside them at this difficult time and give them all that they need, not just to cope, but to live and to flourish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us, for the community coffee morning at St John's this morning in Staple Grove. Pray that that would be a time where people are drawn to come in, to share in hospitality and to gain a sense of your presence. We pray for my own collective worship this afternoon at, at Staple Grove School. That, that would be a blessing for all of us as we focus on the important theme of courageous advocacy. Lord, I pray too for the Deanery Synod Holy Communion service this evening, taking place in Kingston. Lord, we pray that that would be an uplifting and joyful occasion where we can share in fellowship and the bread and wine of the communion. So God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.
The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me. Um, so, yeah, um, community or neighbourhood, I think it's called neighbourhood coffee morning um, at St John's this morning in Staple Grove uh, from 1030. All welcome. So do pop in um, if you're about um, and uh, look forward to catching up with you soon, probably um, tomorrow morning. Take care.